Hi all, good morning to you. We're back with another episode of But First Coffee, and today I'm gonna make my friends play a game that will put their pride on the line. We're gonna see if we can predict what you think about stuff. And of course, we're gonna laugh at some memes. Remember, we're doing all this because the government said we can't play with our friends, and we like coffee. So before we get started, coffee please. Awesome, we got some friends back with me. First is my good friend and man trying to escape his mom's basement, Dan Johnson. Dan, how are you doing this morning and what mug do you got? What is up guys? I am in my mom's basement and I actually <laughs> wanted to pay respects to my mom by drinking this very special coffee mug. Um, I love my mom. Aww. Shout out to all the moms. Aww. Shout out to the moms. Uh, next up, uh, I have my good friend and man trying to figure out a way to summon Magic Missile, Jeremy Kidd. And Jeremy, how are you doing this morning? And what's your mug like? I'm doing excellent. Uh, I've once again achieved the on-theme thing. I've got my Captain America shirt here, and we all know that he is indeed worthy. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Oh. Worthy of the wow. hammer. So this is my, wow. this is wow. my Mjolnir mug, Thor's hammer. Oh my God. Is that how you epic. say that? That's cos Mjolnir, yes. Mjolnir. That is cosmically good coffee. Last but not least, uh, my good friend and mom currently trying to build her own hidden escape route, Jessica Blommel. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jessica, um, how are you doing this morning and what's your mug look like? I haven't escaped yet, but I'm doing all right, hanging in there. My mug, I miss my calendar, my brain and heart calendar. They have one thing in yeah. common, and that's coffee. Yay! <laughs> Nice. And yep. uh, and I'm Matt, and I have my hashtag mug. It's fully customizable. It has a little, oh, you can't see that. Oh, Put no, it in no, front no. of you. Put it in front yeah. of you. Oh, just like that. There you oh, go. it's magic. Yep. Uh, so it's hashtag, and I can write whatever I want. And today it's hashtag, I'm essential. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd like to go outside. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's that's a, that's a that's the official policy of how you become an official worker. Indeed. Whether you're essential Indeed. or not. Yeah, you just say it or not. Like, I'm essential. <laughs> Speaking perfect. perfect. I can do what I want. Dan, do the thing. Gotta get it. Hey guys, you want to smash that subscribe button. Don't miss a single video. Smash that bell button. Hey, if anything just uh, tickled your fancy in this video, just sound off in the comments. Um, spam Matt in the comments if Matt says something to, um, I don't know, that just tickles your fancy a little bit. Um, let us know what you think of the video. All right, hey, uh, before we play a game, I got to update you. We guys we played a game, uh, so you want to go to a tropical island paradise um and i'll go over the 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 answers with you um and then share who got the right answer and then we're going to keep track here in this game um uh, like i said of who's who's winning and who's not um i got a, i got a winner to announce that played online with us um so it'd be great so uh first and foremost coffee i mean uh, coconut water and coconut milk are not the same thing um you cannot start a fire by striking rocks together you should Aww. not eat potatoes in the raw. The first thing you should do when you're stranded is find a water source. Yes. The only kind of lava that was not on there was Honu. Honu was not the lava. Also, fun oh. fact, guys, we all got this next one wrong. Passion fruit is the fruit that doesn't grow on a tree. Bananas grow on like a really big bush, technically. So passion fruit. No. Uh, I've seen the banana tree. It's a huge yeah. palm tree. It's, it's well, technically, thought, thought technically a bush. Uh. S SPF stands for sun protection factor, which we all got wrong. We all picked solar protection factor. Um, it it uh, The front right part of a boat is the starboard bow. Uh, scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Starfish can't survive in fresh water and Tahiti does not mean turtle's bosom. So there you go. There's the answers. Um, coming in the happy place. Uh, the happy place is in last place because points don't matter. Your value is Jesus. Uh, is Jeremy, you only got One. four of those right. Um, yes. Dan and Jessica, you came in tied for second with five apiece. And yours <laughs> uh, came in with six. So oh, wow. I'm crowned. <laughs> it was your game. I didn't Wait know a minute. 
I didn't know the answer. <laughs> and that's why I am on the island all by myself because mm. I oh, won wow. the island. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, we got a winner shout out to Peyton Brown. You, uh, Let's you go, Peyton. Know, you're the Good one job, that uh, get the most right answers. So we're going to send you a gift in the mail. Um, Essential? I'm I'm gonna send you an essential ten dollars in the mail. Right, so we're gonna play. We're gonna play another game where we're actually gonna try to predict what you guys say tomorrow um, on our Instagram feed. We are going to ask you a series of questions of this for that question, um, and we're gonna try to predict uh, the popular opinion of them right now, and then we'll get points if we get them right or not. Yeah, that's the game works. So uh, you can follow us at Harbor of Youth um, and uh, and follow us there. So you guys ready to play? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is how this game is gonna work. We'll just put two things on the screen. Um, and you guys have to decide which way our students are going to go. So first one is, uh, do you think our students are going to pick M&Ms or Skittles? I'm going M&Ms for sure. I say M&Ms too, all the way. Skittles. I'm going to say Skittles. Next one, nuggets or pizza? <laughs> I know what you would say, Dan, but we got we to <laughs> pick what, what, our, what our friends are going to say. Nuggets or pizza? I'm going pizza. I'm going with pizza, all the way pizza. I'm doing nuggets because I'm going to say that includes Chick-fil-A. And I'm going to say nuggets as well because I think we feed them so much pizza they're probably tired of it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. All right, next one. Next one, camping or the beach? I think right. camping. I'm going camping. Beach. Going to the beach. Yeah, I'm, I'm going beach. Um, I'm going to pick camping. All right, next one. Uh, airplane travel or road trip? Ooh. Not not during the coronavirus. So not <laughs> okay, right in now, general, right when all this when all this is clear, airplane travel or road trip? Oh, I'm gonna do road trip because road trip you get like the playlist you can bump in the whole car. You get all those little moments. So I'm going road trip. I'm totally going road trip. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent down with road trip. I'm going road trip all the way. I'm gonna make a unanimous uh, road trip all the way. I'll speak road trip. Next one. Here we go. What's our popular veg of choice? Oh is it Netflix oh. or Disney Plus? What are they gonna say? I'm gonna say Netflix. I think when Disney Plus first came out, it was more popular, but I feel like yeah. it might be more towards Netflix. I'm also gonna say Netflix. Just in general, wow, this is so hard. It depends on the category. I guess I'm gonna go Disney Plus. All right, my vote's with Netflix. All right, emoji of the emoji. Preferred emoji, the thumbs up emoji or the tears of joy emoji? I say tears. I always thought that was laughing. I didn't think of it as tears of joy. I was like, like crying because you're laughing so hard. I don't know. Yeah, I guess the the happy face guy. Yep. Tears of joy. I'll go I'll go thumbs up. It's the one that you have like a dedicated button for on Facebook Messenger and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go thumbs up too in the age of Zoom. It's like one of the two like icons that you get to do. So, all right, here we go. This one's important. Do you fold or scrunch? <laughs> We're gonna get personal, y'all. We're gonna Ew. get personal. Jessica, you go first. Why do I Remember, have this to is, go no, first? This, you don't have to tell us. <laughs> you don't have to tell us. First. You don't have to tell us what you're doing. You just have to tell us what you think other people are doing. This is how the kids would answer, right? Or how, how anyone would answer. answer. Any, anyone that is going to take this test, yeah. Public, the public. Okay, then I'm gonna say scrunch. Scrunch. Yeah, I'm going scrunch. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say scrunch. It's gonna have a wider audience, but where are all my bidet people at? Bidet. The oh my gosh. <laughs> First person to spell bidet all, all in the comments without people. getting interrupted. <laughs> oh my gosh. First person to spell bidet properly. <laughs> <laughs> bidet Nation, where you at? Right, I'm saying scrunch though. Sound off in the comments, hashtag bidet mate. Put date, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. uh, all right, I'm gonna go fold. Mm. I think people are, uh, they got time now, so we're just gonna. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Are we early birds? Are we night owls? <laughs> Easy, night owls. Yeah, I'm, I'm going night owl all the way. Night time. Yep, night, night owl as well. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Ice coffee, hot coffee. Mm. I am going hot coffee. Yeah, I'm going iced coffee as well. I'm going iced coffee. I'm going to ice. People should still vote, by the way, even if they, like, don't drink coffee. Like, what would they? Yeah, like hot drink or cold drink. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing ice. 
All right, here we go. This one was a popular thing uh, back in the day. Uh, pirates or ninjas? Okay, I'll go ninja. I think ninja too. Yeah. Do pirates. Oh, I'm, I'm ninja all the way. Ninja. All right. And then last but not least, fruit or veggies? Fruit. And all of those grow on the bushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fruit. Yeah. Yeah, it's fruit. All the way. I'm going to go with fruit all the way as well. Look, cool. I have a pineapple. <laughs> Locking in the answers. <laughs> Boom. Um, all right, y'all. So find us on Instagram tomorrow. Answer these questions. Um, and then we'll see if we guessed y'all right. Hey, you are my fave, but are you contagious? The social distance rules say go six feet that way. You know, I love you, but I just can't touch. When we get back to church, I'm just gonna sing that song. I want, I literally want Brendan <laughs> just to sing that song as a worship song. Go six feet that way. Go six feet, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's time to play a little game called Home Hunt, and this is just for you guys at home. Um, we're gonna spin a wheel, and it's gonna give us three different items that we're gonna ask you guys to go put together and then take a picture of all together in one photo and then shoot that over to us on our Instagram account. And if you do that, um, you'll be entered into another drawing to win some more money. So Peyton got 10 bucks this last week uh, for playing our game. So yeah, there is, there's good prizes on the line. So I encourage you to play along. Um, here we go. So first item that you guys get to find is... Uh, a toilet seat. That's going to be gross. Extra Delightful. Extra if it is disconnected from uh, the toilet. Actually, because I really don't want to look into your toilet bowl. Uh, <laughs> all right, next item that we got to put with the toilet seat is... Oh, a roll of toilet paper. Wow. There's a theme. There's a theme. All right, mm -hmm. and the next one is... Oh, this is going to be good. I feel it. A funny mug. So, All right. Uh, Ooh, yeah. So give us okay. a picture of a toilet seat, a funny mug, and some uh, and some toilet paper. No. Yeah, toilet so paper. Get, yeah, so give us a picture of a toilet, some toilet paper, a uh, toilet seat, and a funny mug, all in one photo, and we'll put you in the raffle to win a prize. Extra points for being creative. Cool. cool Extra cool. points. All right, guys, let's chat for a little bit. Let's chat about habits, good habits and bad habits. Dan, uh, thank you for kind of setting us off this Sunday. If you want to go back and watch Dan's little message um, where he talks about um, just being disciplined and the little things that we do now can make a big impact later on, go ahead and check that out. We'll link it here in the video. Um, but uh, one of the habits that bothers me so much, and I probably do it, but it just bothers me, is when people chew with their mouth open um mm -hmm. and uh so i just want to let's i mean we're all about the games here let's, so let's see how long can you guys stand um watching people chew with their mouth open oh, God. Ah. you guys ready for this oh. 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 Oh, God. Oh, oh i'm done i'm done i lost into the chair. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ew. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, I'm literally crunching on this stuff. Like, my mouth. No. This is making me kind of hungry. Oh. I swear, like, all the stuff in the bag of my neck. Oh, it's the oatmeal. I don't like the oatmeal. Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, there it is. Oh, wow. my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. I actually <laughs> kind of got intense for like the end. Ew. <laughs> the beginning, I was like, I'm not even hell. eating right now. Oh, I like, I, I'm, oh I'm still, still shaky. Um, all right, so, so I don't know. Uh, uh, are there any new new habits you guys new new hobbies new anything that you guys are trying to pick up during the quarantine time? We just went down on the stay at home orders. Um, you guys doing trying to better yourself in any way? Um, I've been trying to find things to do that have nothing to do with a screen because <laughs> now that we're all at home, I know my job has changed dramatically to being on this on a screen of some sort so much more than I'm used to. And now I find it hard for that to be my downtime anymore. So my downtime needs to be off screen. Um, yeah. So I've taken to trying puzzles and art and I mean, I continue cooking, but yeah, in anything, any kind of hobby that can turn my brain off of a screen is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dan, what about you? Yeah, I'm, that's one of the things I'm trying to be off my phone for a little bit. I swear I, I like set my phone down for 30 minutes and everyone's like, did you die? I'm like, no, I, you know, it's like, right. you know, it's crazy. But no, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to set my phone down for at least, you know, chunk of time. And, you know, a lot of the day my, my family's at home. So I'm like, okay, I'm trying to tell myself at least once a day to just like set my phone down and like actually just try to be present with my family for a longer period of time, um, which includes things like, starting a poker league with my brothers, which uh, my brother Bradley is probably going to destroy me and Andrew. Um, it also includes us setting up a weird makeshift DB gun range in the backyard. That's been, uh, that's been interesting. Um, and then um, I'm just taking a lot more walks. Like I'm, I'm walking in the neighborhood and I strangely enjoy it. Like I never thought I would enjoy just like going on a walk. Um, I'm at least trying to do like one of those a day and like not, you know, not, not bring a phone, just go out there and walk and think or pray or just whatever um try to do that jeremy what about you man yeah i mean definitely dan there's a new appreciation for even basic things like just walking outside um but i think in terms of habits um i've taken to um listening to podcasts um while washing the dishes or things like that because you still got to do chores and in fact i think i actually I feel like we have more dishes now than we used to because everyone's always eating at home. <laughs> um, so anyway, when I'm doing the dishes or other chores, um, you know, I'll pop in, pop in some headphones and listen to a podcast. Um, just something that I'm doing that's um, learning something or getting some kind of input that's not video screen input. Um, so that's a, a, a nice thing for me. Um, and then I think I'm just like, while I watch TV or while I'm just hanging out in the evenings, um, my my sister-in-law and wife and I have been playing some board games when we get the chance. Um, but when we are just sitting in front of the TV, I've tended to get up and start doing some air squats, uh, doing some push-ups while yeah. I'm watching TV. Air squats? Uh, Let's see an air, air squat right now. Let's see an air squat. Oh, air, air squat. Air squat? In it's space. not, it's just, um, okay. I don't know if the <laughs> space thing will work. I'm like literally right up against the All right. right now. So. All right, you're going to do an air squat in space. An air squat in space. Wow. So Never, okay. You can't even see my full body, but you got to put your arms down. That's okay. You're really <laughs> glad. Then you squat down, deep squat, feel the burn, ah. get it in your, in your so, thighs. And in your glute? Just one yeah. glute <laughs> and one glute. Air. Oh, you have more than one? <laughs> yes. You have two butts? <laughs> one butt? <laughs> okay. <laughs> one butt. I don't have two yes, butts. Yes, you have, you have glutes, not glutes. So two glutes equals two one butt. Yes. So, yeah. Two I cheeks. So. If you have one glute, you're a half a butt. No. Right. So anyway, just like body weight <laughs> exercises while I'm watching TV, get my heart rate up, get some exercise in, because uh, I cannot stand how much I sit right now. It's insane. Yeah, there's a lot of sitting. All right. Uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not super new, uh, but I'm just trying to keep the same routine that I normally would. If I was going to work, so so get up, still take a shower, still eat breakfast, still make coffee instead of like just getting up and lounging in my pajamas for a while. And um, mm -hmm. I don't know, so trying to keep the same routine. So instead of habits, instead of picking up a habit, I did buy a new puppy, y'all. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be like this big. Um, yeah, and we used to have dogs, but um, they died 
rest in pieces um uh, a long time ago and we kind of like but the moment that we went on lockdown they're we like okay we're gonna have to get our kids a dog because all of their friends they're, they're gonna miss and they need to torture somebody else other than us so uh we got a little fuzzball we'll i'll give you updates as things go on but but let's talk about dogs for a minute so before we before we talk about dogs, I got I got a little video for you. Uh, this is just just some fun, cute dog videos on the internet. As a fierce dog. I want a puppy now. Oh, <laughs> oh man. You have a dog, Dan. You don't have a dog anymore. Your dog just passed away, but you rest in pieces, Maggie. Um, he's rest in peace, right? Now rest in pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just peace. peace. Uh, I used to have some dogs. Jeremy, you ever have a dog when you were a kid? Or yep. as an adult? I had a few yeah. dogs. All right. So uh, give me some give me some dog tips. What do I gotta know? You're getting a puppy, right? Yeah, little puppy. It's gonna weigh under two pounds. It's a Morky. Go look it up. Actually, here's a picture. Because honestly, I just don't want to step on the thing and kill it because it's gonna be tiny. So, yes. what do we got? You need lots of puppy toys. They teeth. I don't know if you knew that, but puppies teeth. So it's gonna chew on everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. All right, puppy toys. Check. I Dan did, got I did AirPods. Um, when they grow um, up, though, they don't stop chewing. This was oh, this that just morning. Happened. This morning, my dog is nine years old, still chewing. Um, <laughs> so let's let's kick it off. Let's go to our meme section. Um, last week we uh, we had some memes that were delivered, and um, we are definitely giving meme lord status to Dan. He brought the best memes last Yay. week. So Dan, oh. you're the meme lord. Um, Yay. Uh, you get one point. Uh, we're gonna go to round two though, because we all did some memes. This time we we got some dog memes, and we just got some new coronavirus memes. Um, so what do you guys want to do first? You guys want to do coronavirus? Do you want to do dogs? Dogs. I say start with dogs. Yep. Yep. Doggo. <laughs> all right, here we go. So here's just some just some fun ones that I threw up there. Um, no, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, here's here's some dog memes before we go into our final submissions. Found these on the internet. These are really good. When you realize you were a good dog all along. Oh, mm. So good. That's a good um, feeling. <laughs> here comes your crust. Act, act natural. I mean. <laughs> 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 the mirror, mirror That's in the awesome. bowl. Who's the goodest boy you know? Oh, <laughs> you are. Cute. This, this cute one. Good boy. Job interview. Oh my goodness. Tell me what special skills you have. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. You're, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> Um, here's some other ones y'all sent to me. Uh, I'm so happy to see you all sitting on the couch when bang, the cushions exploded. I could have died. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bad dog. That's your future. That's a bad dog. Here's another one. I don't always bark at night, but when I do, it's for no reason. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so true. So should true. They have a, should they have a reason for it? All right, here you go. Here's the official su su uh, submissions. Jessica, this one's yours. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, peanut butter! <laughs> wow. Love it. That is the face I make when I eat spoonfuls of peanut butter. <laughs> All right, here's mine. This one only lasts for a while. Oh, yeah. Well a, done. Good <laughs> All right. Don't turn uh, the light off. 
All right, Dan, here's yours. Okay, so basically I'm very small. <laughs> oh. I'm very small. <laughs> I, I love that one. That's cute. <laughs> Jeremy, here we go. You thought it was Sluggo, but it is Dogo. That again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh gosh. This is what people do when there isn't a pandemic. They just have these ideas. So I'm curious to see what happened when Oh my gosh. All right. All right, here we go. And uh, let's move on to some uh, some latest coronavirus memes. Here we go, Jessica. This one's from you. Oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. God. <laughs> 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 Ain't well no place for that here. Yeah. Social distance at Apple. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, we got, uh, I think this is Dan's. Here you go, Dan. Bur you know, everyone's giving our response to, to COVID-19. Here's Burger King's. Our response to COVID-19. <laughs> We're taking the coronavirus pandemic very seriously. That's why beginning today, all Burger King oh, employees no. are required to wash their hands. Oh, 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 no. Yike. Poor Burger King. That's McDonald's brutal. all the way. Jeremy, here's yours. When you work at a bank and two guys with a mask come in, but they're just robbing the place. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, that was be the for a minute. <laughs> um, guys, here's mine. This is 2020 in a nutshell, brought to you by the office. Fire! Oh, my goodness. What's the procedure? What do we do, people? <laughs> oh, how did that happen? It's out in the hall. No, we don't know that. The smoke could be coming through an air duct. Oh, my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we'll trap everyone for himself. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Help. The best office episode. Uh. All right, guys, so tell us what you thought about our meme stuff. Uh, declare the meme lords for the week. Um, see if we can take it away from Dan. Um, I'd love to be meme lord and game show champion at the same time and just kind of hold both belts. That's what I'm going for, just world domination. Um, yeah, all right, uh, Jeremy, uh, why don't you take us out? You got any final thoughts for us? All right, you guys. So during the coronavirus, you've got to stay fit. And I've been thinking a lot about this, as mentioned earlier in the video. So what kind of exercises can you do with minimal equipment that you can only find around the house? Well, to start with, you've heard of shadow boxing, um, but have you heard of shadow tag? Shadow tag is a game where you take a very bright lamp, place it in the room behind you so that it's casting a long shadow, and then try as hard as you can to escape your shadow so that you and your shadow do not touch. It is very, very difficult, and I guarantee you will burn hundreds of calories attempting this. Moreover, uh, have you heard of invisible jousting? Uh, invisible jousting is where you take your mattress off of your bed and you set it up against a wall. And then you go across the room and you pretend that you are riding a horse uh, and that you have a javelin, but you don't really, and you just run sort of into the mattress and fall over on, your, on the ground. The more times you do this, uh, the more likely you are to injure yourself. So only do it a couple of times and then return to some other exercise. But it's a good way to wake yourself up uh, if you've run out of coffee and you can't go to the grocery store yet. So if you need to stay fit, those are a couple ideas for you. All right, guys, until next time. We'll see you next week. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.